you've probably already watched my robot in one weekend, where it scores 295 points, only using a spike prime. Now, I'm going to take a wild guess that you probably have more time than that. Well, in this video, I'll talk about how to use that time to develop robots, create a presentation, and be ready for the competition. We need to start with a rough schedule. Don't try too hard to plan everything your team is going to do in the season yet, because that's just too hard. We will need to know three things. When we create the robot, when we create the innovation project presentation, and when we will practice for the upcoming competition. Scheduling a very detailed plan to develop the robot is actually quite hard, so be flexible. Here's a rough idea of when your team needs to get stuff done at the robot. First, at the start of the season, immediately understand the rules and determine what tasks your team's robot should do. Once you've done that, create the base robot. However, this should not take too long. Don't try to be perfect trying to create a base robot. I explained this in another video. Then, create attachments and program the robot for the entire rest of the season. You're going to be doing this because your team needs to improve the robot, and that's really where most of the time should go. However, close to the end of the season, start practicing with the robot. If you do this too early, you just waste time, because your team is probably going to change the robot and the programs a lot before then. The innovation project is, interestingly enough, similarly planned to the robot. You start by reading the rules and determining what problem your team's innovation project will try to solve. Once you've done that, your team will determine the type of presentation you're, they will do and the solution. And then most of the season is spent researching and creating the innovation project. And finally, at the end, your team practices performing the innovation project presentation. Between the robot game and the innovation project, you actually want to spend a roughly even amount of time between the two. However, if your team is starting to struggle with one of them, then by all means, go ahead and spend more time on the innovation project or the robot game to make sure it gets done. All right, thank you for watching. That's all for this video, and I hope you learned something. If you did, feel free to subscribe to the channel, because we're about to hit 1,000 subscribers. And I appreciate all the support that helped me get there. If you want to support the channel further, you can check out my Bricklink store, using the link down below, and feel free to email me using the email address also down below. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.